Hi, and welcome to Petersville Farm. In this video, we discuss various layouts of the tower gardens. The vertical garden approach is a favorite as it helps with space optimization. Strawberries grow well in a vertical garden arrangement. So here, this is my the first setup I would like to um, show. And these are basically the stockable pots. I have them as four tier and five tier pots. On average, there are three plants per level. I also use them not only for the strawberry plants, but also um, herbs such as thyme, I find grows very well in this arrangement. Now these pots are readily available at various convenience stores, at Walmart, at the Dollar Store, at Roses during the spring season, and they are quite cost effective at these places. Now the other arrangement that I have is, it was a tower I purchased, it had a built-in irrigation system, but it did not work as well as I hoped, and so I repurposed it. Uh, with the new arrangement, I have a three-quarter inch PVC pipe at the center and also it has some rocks at the top to help with uh, or it helps to stop erosion of the soil uh, during the irrigation period. Now the third arrangement and that is I use a BPA laundry basket and also with this arrangement I have a PVC pipe placed in the center with drilled holes. They're drilled holes at the base to the side and at the bottom of uh, the clothes hamper which help with a more even distribution of water and assist with proper drainage in this case. Now the plants obtained, I had a pre-existing area container with some strawberries I didn't have, have the chance to get, uh, get the runners and thin them out last season so now I have the opportunity I'll be thinning out some of the plants um, adding some new soil to the containers and removing some of these plants to the uh, tower garden area now this transplant process took place I transplanted these plants on March the 15th and so just want to show you what it looks like during the first initial stage so here's what it looks like in terms of planting and later on you'll see some additional work that's done at the top in terms of the mulching and so forth uh, in addition to that um, the stackable pots also was done. There were some done prior to this date, but there were some that was done on this date also. So here with the stackable pots um, shown, here some that were recently transplanted. Now in this arrangement, as you will see, you know, they do not hold as much plants, but I just want to see which arrangement that the plants um, thrive best on. And so you know, although they may not hold mu much, I think it's an average of um, 15, 12 to 15 plants per station. Um, that's what is there currently. And so, yeah, this especially here, you could see these were some recently transplanted on March the 15th. So, these based on what you will see is that they recover very quickly from that point to blossoming and so um, just before I show you that this is just what the container areas look like after thinning out and also they are mulched with some pine straw which helps with the water conservation and help them to cope during the high heat times. So back to the tower this is what it looks like. Um, it's March. This video here section was taken March the 9th. Approximately one month later, uh, they start bearing fruits and flowering. And 
what I found is is they did very well in all the arrangement including the the stockable pots you know that I were able to harvest a great yield of strawberries and so this is just to show you this is what it looks like this section was taken on May the 8th so that's another month later so from the time of transplant it takes approximately two months before uh, harvesting and so you know we see that the strawberries they are fast bearers they recover very quickly and the type I have here I believe these are the uh, Charlie sweet variety they are um, very sweet and they do produce uh, twice per year thank you for watching and remember to subscribe to Petersville Farm